Hello, Internet. Idiot Craft Man here again. Some of you may be wondering, what is STL Flix? Do I need it? And is it worth it? So, first off, what is STL Flix? If you're into doing any kind of 3D printing, I'm sure by now you've seen the ads pop up on Facebook, Instagram, probably TikTok, wherever. And they claim that they're a Netflix for 3D printing kind of thing. And so basically you subscribe to their service and you get unlimited access to all of their STL files. Now, I saw this and I wasn't really sure what to think about that. I didn't know really anything. It didn't answer a whole lot. And you kind of don't really get any answers. So what's it all about? Well, it is what they say it is. You pay for your subscription and you get access to their library. Once you get the subscription, you don't have to pay for anything else. You don't have to pay per download or anything like that, which is something that kind of concerned me about it. Now, the big thing with them is if you plan on selling the things that you're 3D printing, anything that you download from them is commercially licensed so long as you have the subscription. So they do a monthly one and a lifetime subscription. So I ended up going with the lifetime subscription. The reason why is the monthly was, I think, 30 bucks a month, something like that. And within a year, you're gonna pay that anyways. So I figure, why not bite the bullet, check it out. And at first I was a little bit concerned because I was running into issues with my prints. So this guy was one of the very first things that I tried to print. And as you can see, it failed. That was a big problem for me. The thing that I tried to print before that, I think I got off of Thingiverse, which was this guy. And he came out great. He's got awesome color, everything like that. So I was nervous. I uh, went through my settings and my 3D printer just kicked on. Um, got something else starting printing from STL Flix. Now, I decided to go through all my settings, get everything dialed in, all that good stuff, and slowed everything down. And went a little bit more fine detail than what I normally do. Um, just as an example, this guy here is a dragon that I had printed a while back and looks great, but there's just not a lot of detail in him. But prints fine, prints relatively fast. Um, I think that guy took me eight or nine hours to get through, which isn't bad. Like I said, picked a file and decided to download it. And this was the result. This guy came out awesome. So with that, 
I was very happy because I had been having a lot of issues with stuff that I was printing regularly and I saw some comments online that a lot of their files have issues and things like that. So I was a little worried, but printed that and it came out great. Absolutely love it. This was a two piece print base and the head come separately. This got a little bit rough in the back, but apart from that printed perfectly fine. This guy, I don't think I really had any cleanup on, maybe a little bit of stringing. And they pop perfectly into place. Everything's good. So I just pulled this guy off and he's probably my favorite thing that I've printed so far. completely movable, all that stuff. And he came off of STL Flix. That's the, the baby version. There's a mama version also. So for things that I can sell when I go to shows, I think it's awesome. Compare that to this guy, which still looks pretty cool. But you get a lot better detail, a lot more intricate. And if there's issues with it, I've heard that they make adjustments and changes to it and all that. I haven't seen it. I haven't been a member long enough. I don't really know. Just letting you know my experience. So is it worth it to get STL flicks? If you just want to print cool stuff, it might be. They, uh, they do have a lot of cool designs on there. Um, if you're not gonna sell anything, probably just a month to month subscription, but they do updates every week. Um, I've seen Egyptian stuff, Vikings, dinosaurs, gnomes, all kinds of cool stuff. If you're gonna sell commercially, I would absolutely recommend getting it. Um, way better detail than what I've seen, at least in most of the free file stuff. And I don't know, it's cool. I'm looking forward to see how people react to it when I go to shows with these items. Um, if you have any questions that maybe I didn't answer or I glossed over, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Um, for the free stuff that I showed you, Yoshi, this guy, the other dragon, if you're interested in where I got those, put a comment down below, let me know. Um, if you're interested in stuff like this, maybe check out STL Flix, if that's your thing. Hope I answered your questions. If you are curious about the filaments that I used, I will post that down in the comments below as well. Uh, that'll take you directly to Amazon, which is where I got everything. Have a good night or day, morning, whenever you watch it. Have a good one.